asthma is something that uh, we can treat uh, quite effectively at home and prevent asthma attacks from occurring. And this is something that we were losing grips with about 20 years ago because we didn't understand 100% what asthma was due to in terms of why a child is wheezing or why a child is having symptoms. And therefore, we were actually using the wrong medications. This isn't talking 20, 30 years ago. Uh, and now we better understand what asthma is. So we're now focusing on the actual underlying problem of asthma uh, and using the appropriate medications. And of course, we also recognize the role of the environment and how asthma is triggered and how the environment plays a role. And this is where the allergic predisposition comes in. For example, we know that with children, if they're allergic to something, let's say they're allergic to dust mites or cats, and actually it doesn't even have to be an allergic reaction, cigarette smoke, for example, anything that irritates a child's lungs or airways, that irritation actually makes it more easy for a child to have an asthma attack. So, for example, if you have a cat at home and the child is allergic to the cat, the child will not necessarily have an asthma attack or an allergic reaction every time he or she plays with a cat. But inside his her bronchi, if you look inside, it, secretions are, are accumulating, and those secretions make your lungs much more predisposed to an asthma attack, attack brought on by the triggers. And the triggers that we talk about are a cold, a common cold, cold temperature, exercise and an older people stress but in the younger children it's really a common the common cold so a child has an irritated airway because he's exposed to cigarette smoke or dust mites or cat dander etc fine as soon as he or she gets a cold gets an asthma attack the more your lungs are irritated the easier the cold will bring on an asthma attack and the asthma attack will become much more severe 